So, Ken Copeland, Optical Technology, yeah. you've got some liquid cool doors. That's right. But they're not like the water cooled doors I've heard of before, are they? Tell no. us about it. <laughs> Absolutely not. So, we are a 100% refrigerant based solution. Uh, we bring R134 refrigerant to each, to the back, uh, uh, the rear door of each rack. And inside, what we have, you can have up to three cooling units. Each one of the cooling units has a 10 kilowatt capacity. Uh, so, you could have up to 30 kilowatts of cooling per door. Uh, you don't have to have all of them installed at once. You can start with one cooling unit and have 10 kilowatts per door. Uh, but as your heat loads increase, add additional uh, uh, cooling units as you go. Uh, for redundancy requirements, you can have uh, two separate cooling units at 10 kilowatts a piece yeah. and have them hook, hooked up to separate pumps. Uh, and so the pump, the heart of the system, is a 60 ton, uh, 210 kilowatt pump and it's a closed loop system. Yeah. And so really all we're doing is taking the cold liquid refrigerant from the pump, uh, bringing it through the manifolds, overhead manifolds, uh, to each rack. And so the cold refrigerant comes down to each individual heat extractor, and as it passes through the coils, uh, it has a phase change. And so the refrigerant uh, is what absorbs all the heat. And so we take cold refrigerant to the rack, and then what goes back to the pump is the same refrigerant, but in a, a semi-gaseous state. And so once it gets back to the pump, there's a, a heat exchanger, um, and we'll hook the pump up either to a building chill water system, yeah. or we also have a complete DX solution. And so what the, the chill water does is it absorbs the heat from the refrigerant, uh, takes the refrigerant back to 100% liquid state, cold, and that's what goes back to the rack. So it's a 100% closed loop system uh, that only sends refrigerant to the rack. So. What, what this is, it's the same technology that is in a normal uh, refrigerate, refrigerate air conditioning unit. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, but instead of cooling the air and sending it to the racks, you send the coolant to the air where it cools cool to the racks, where right. it cools as yep. much air as you need there. Yeah, so that, that's exactly right. And so, you know, what the most efficient way of cooling yeah. would be at the component level. Right. Well, we're not quite at the component level. I think someday, you know, in the in the near future, we we'll probably will get there. But the next closest place is at the rack. So we yeah. cool at the rack level. So instead yeah. of having all the hot air exhaust yeah. into the room, we capture it at the rack. So we're a, a truly rack containment solution instead of yeah. aisle containment. Uh, and so as the hot air comes off the equipment and travels through the, the cooling unit, yeah. the byproduct, what comes out of the back is cold air. Yeah. And so you never have any warm air that ever enters your data center. Okay, some people might be worried about having stuff leaking out of their doors. How does this stuff compare with water? Oh, so, so refrigerant is non-conductive, yeah. uh, non-corrosive and non-toxic. Uh, in the event that a leak did occur and yeah. it gets onto your equipment, it's easy cleanup, yeah. uh, but most importantly, it, it does not conduct electricity oh. and does not corrode your equipment. Right. Uh, whereas we know water does both. So it really is a win-win. That's right, absolutely. Brilliant, absolutely. thank you. Yeah, thank you.